Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Spirit Plugin Showcase video here. So I'll be showing an amazing plugin called TNT Tag by Jasper the Dev here. So I'll be showing you the overview of the plugin and yeah, let's get into the video. Before we get started, make sure to check out Wisteria Host. It's a premium Minecraft hosting service that provides services in locations like Singapore, starting from only $1.2 per GB. Use my code ARROW for a total 10% discount repairing off. Okay, so I'm here. So I have a test arena over there actually. So I'll just come here. This is another arena. I've just copy pasted it. So you can actually start the arena creation now. The global lobby is actually set over there. So like if you leave the arena here, you'll be going there. So to create an arena, you need to just, uh, you know, first you can check the commands here. So TT help and you can create the arena with TT create and the arena name. So like I'll just put it as test one. So now it's asking for how many players it can start the game with. So I'll just put two. So enter the amount of players the maximum can hold. So I can just put 10. So actually I can set the lobby. So it's the lobby where you'll be waiting. I'll set the waiting lobby in the middle here so that you can like differentiate between the starting position and the lobby position. So I can just type set lobby. Oops, it's set lobby. And I can set the start here. Set start. So now the arena is created. So the global lobby is actually set over there. And you can actually go through the help message again to see what's there left to set up. So you can actually first view the arenas first, so here is the arena, test one, and you can even view your stats. So I've actually got some stats before, so it's wins, time stack, and tags. And now I'm going to show you how to edit the arena, so there's actually this TT editor, so I have to just type the name here. So here are some values, you can actually increase and decrease the minimum and maximum here, you can do it, so just click this and click that for reducing and increasing and yes you can even set the lobby location by clicking on this i won't be clicking it because i already set it over there and save the starter location and here's the countdown so it's basically the countdown to start the game you know in the lobby duration and then this is the one like it's a round duration so like how many seconds is each round you can decrease this if you want i personally think you should decrease this because like it's too much like why bother waiting so long so 30 seconds is enough and you have to click apply changes and there it is we have applied the changes and you can also view the top here so like tt top and you have to value actually so like just type tt top wins and you can find the top three players here and the same with tt top tags and you can even view for the times tag it's pretty cool actually because there's a whole gui system here there seems to be some issue with the skins but uh, the author is fixing it as you can see over there. You can even open the join GUI here. So it's just like the two arenas here. So if I'm joined it, as you can see I'm here at the arena lobby. So yeah, that's pretty much that for the setup. And I guess I'll be showing you the gameplay now. Alright, so I'm at the gameplay over here. So you can actually just join the game by TT join here. And then you can join here and you can even access the arenas here by right clicking the axe and you can leave the TT lobby, the global lobby actually with the barrier. And here is actually the top one sign, I'll be showing you that. And here's the top one sign and here's the join sign and here's the one you can use to leave. As you can see I've left the global lobby. So now I'm going to join again. So now we're going to join the arena. Enjoy some gameplay. So that, that was the gameplay as you can see it was very fun over there so you just tag each other and have fun so yeah that's pretty much that for the gameplay i'll be showing you the wiki now just an overview or explanation of the document so here's all the commands you can view everything i've shown you previously and here's the permissions you can add so everything has its own permissions you can just look through it there's nothing much to really explain and here's the arena setup I've already explained it, I showed you how to do it. And here's some placeholder which you can use. You can maybe set a, uh, you know, public core board or something like that. 
or a hologram. Here's the configuration explained pretty well. I'll be showing you that in a while. You can even touch the API, I mean for a developer or something. And here are the signs actually, I'll be showing you that now. So here's some creating signs, here's everything explained. So it's just that first line, second line, third line. So the first line has to start with TT. So here's this uh, TT here, you can just copy paste it if you want. So you can just go to Minecraft and you can paste TT. And then the next one's like join, leave, top. So like first I'll create the top. So top. Specify the type of statistics to display. So winds, times, tags, and tags. So let's just put tags below. And then here you can put the position. So like two, three, which one? So I just put two. And as you can see, the author is actually in the second place here. So sorry about that. I'll just paste it again. So that's there. You can actually create that easily. And so there's even TT join arena name. So our arena was actually test one, right? So there's that. And you can even add a TT leave. So you can use it to either leave an arena or a lobby. So you can just use that whenever you can. I, I've showed that in the gameplay. And yeah, that's pretty much that actually. Uh, I think I've shown everything till now. Alright, I'm back here at the configuration part. So I'll be showing you all these uh, files here so you can know what each of them do. So you can actually first check this science.yml. They basically just store the data on where the signs are saved. So you don't really need to touch those. And there's the player data, you can ignore that. It's just, it's just data saving. And there's items.yml. So you can basically like edit, uh, you know, the items which I showed you, the join and the leave. And you can edit all these, uh, you know, that's pretty customizable. There's actually a new update, so like the recording was a bit outdated. But once you start using the plugin, you'll see the changes. So you'll see a compass. There's even customization here, so like you can edit all the messages and stuff. Not really needed to edit them. And there's config.yml here. So there's some pretty basic stuff here. You can edit the start message, you can uh, edit the teleport threshold. Uh, the game combat if, if, any, if everyone can hit each other in the game and stuff and the open arena GUI and the tagger percentage so like you can edit everything here it's pretty customizable and you can actually even add like uh, you know uh, finish command so the taggers the survivors and the arena finish command so yeah that's pretty much that uh, if you enjoyed the video make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more similar content and comment down on your opinion see ya